Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and this is the abridged version of my Spellcasters Only Shining Force playthrough. If you want to see the full episode with all of the town exploration and story included, just click on the annotation. So when we last left off, we had finished off a fight at the Rindo Circus in order to save the mayor's grandson. With his grandson rescued, the mayor does give us his ship as promised, however, it seems that the fortune teller isn't quite done being a thorn in our side and promptly burns the ship to rubble. With no other boats available, we must travel north to Shade Abbey to go through the mountains. However, the people at the Abbey are acting strangely, and all of the graves are dug up for reasons which soon become clear. We also meet a bird woman who begs us to save her friend Babaroy. It seems we won't be getting out of Shade Abbey without a fight. Something isn't quite right. Run, it's a trap! That was, uh, I guess, Balbaroy right there. Been praying, and well, you might. Oh, shit! You and your pitiful shining force cannot be saved by prayers. You won't escape. How fitting that you perish in a former chapel of light. I'll leave you now in the care of my minions, who know well what to do with you. Undead, dispose of these pests once and for all. Well, uh, that fellow there, we haven't seen before, I don't think. But, uh, you may recognize him from the intro of the game. Got a bit of a tricky situation here, actually. Because we have a lot of, uh, sh just a metric fuckton of zombies here, and a new type of zombie right here, actually. This is a ghoul with a much higher attack and HP and defense. And these skeletons are actually no joke either. And what about this guy? This guy is, uh, not so bad. Um, the problem is actually I kind of forgot to give Max another... He still has a defense potion for whatever reason and a steel arrow. I'd rather he had a healing seed right now because he kind of is probably going to need it. But, what should we do? I guess first things first, let's burn some zombies. Seems like a, a logical first step anyway. We can have four Blaze 2s come out of uh, Tau alone. She barely even gets any XP for these guys anymore. Uh, I think also, Gong can probably take a couple of hits, so we'll have him uh, hang out right here. Ooh, and actually Max gets to go almost immediately, which is quite, uh, quite helpful. Um, I think I'm gonna put Max... I'm kinda concerned those skeletons could actually do quite a bit of damage, but I think we're kinda gonna get swarmed either way. So let's set up a defensive line over to the, uh, side of the map here. And uh, we won't actually be able to blaze with uh, Henri just yet, but perhaps soon. Now, can Arthur kill this guy? I kind of wonder. He's got 19 attack. I don't think he's got what it takes, and I think he will die if we um, if we put him uh, next to that zombie. So I'd rather have him be able to live <laughs> and do a couple of attacks before he dies. But this is good. If they're gonna come out and swarm us, we're gonna get to drop a lot of uh, a lot of big hits on him. Five damage. Yeah, that, that's it's good that we got to move Max almost immediately. Let's put it that way. If they continue to stack up like this, though, we should be okay. Just gotta be careful of uh, you know poison is not not good, but in particular like double attacks, those are gonna be real bad as well. Oh man, they just continue to just pile up. Oh, look at that! Look at that beautiful blaze opportunity over there. So many, so many blaze opportunities, actually. Okay, what do we do here? I think we, uh, let's move Chris here. And, uh, we do want to, like, get some attacks in, but let's heal up Max for now. It's important that he doesn't die, of course. We may actually, you know, this is another tougher fight. We may, we may die here. It's possible. But, um, not yet. Who, who do, who do we want to attack first here? The skeletons are a threat. Um, hang on, let me examine some stats here. 18 attack, 21 attack, 16 defense though. I think uh, the skeletons are maybe best left to our mages. Um, so I'm going to attack this zombie and hope that Tao can finish it off when she gets to go. Oh, we got a double attack actually kind of unexpectedly there. Some good XP as well. And then I think we'll... Uh, I'm gonna move Gong over here and actually try. Ah, hmm. 
I'm not going to worry so much about that. Maybe Henri can finish that guy off. I'm going to start working on these skeletons, or at least this skeleton right here. That should put him in uh, Blaze territory, I think, since he is a undead. Freeze, uh, I think, actually does reduce damage against uh, undead characters. Or maybe it doesn't do reduce, but at least it doesn't do extra. So we're going we're gonna to try to Blaze this guy. This could put Henri in kind of a really difficult position, but... Oh, man, so close. Oh, but you get a level out of it. One attack, one defense, which is extremely nice. Some HP, some MP, a little bit of everything. Oh, and man, another 6 MP gain. So good. Oh, no, but Tao can't reach. Oh, that is disappointing. Um, hmm. Well, I think we got to live large here. and We should be able to at least take out some of these guys who should come in target max. And she could probably survive one hit herself, so... Better to do this than to not do it, I think. And that's gonna be a nice bit of XP for her. Luckily, that guy's just gonna hang out for a bit, it seems. Uh, alright, now the question becomes... Arthur could kill this skeleton, but he will almost certainly die. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe we just do it, because <laughs> we we need these skeletons to become no longer living. So I think we, yeah, we, we'll kill the skeleton. Oh, and he only did two points of damage, though. That part I was not expecting. Not expecting that at all. Chris going to take a little bit of damage here. It's okay, though. She, she can take a couple of hits now, I think. Ooh, maybe only one hit, actually. Uh, but Lowe, can Lowe get this? Can Lowe finish the job here? He might be able to finish the job here. I'm gonna try. Oh, he does! He gets it done! He does more damage than fucking Arthur does. Holy shit. I should have, I uh, should have had Arthur use the boost ring on himself, I think. Lowe actually could be in some danger here as well. Yeah, this, everything here hits really hard. We'll see if we get to, uh, go again. Maybe get some healing done on uh, on our healers <laughs> before they die. We'll see. Nope, doesn't look like it. I think Lowe's going to go down here, perhaps for the first time. Yeah, no, that's unfortunate. Still, getting those skeletons out of the way is extremely important. Um, at this point, I think that's a pretty good target for Blaze. What about this other skeleton? I forget, did we get any damage on him yet? We did not. Um, I'm gonna let Tao kill that other, uh, zombie there. And then uh, I'm gonna have Henri kill this, help, <laughs> help kill the skeleton. Cause, uh, yeah, these, these skeletons are quite dangerous. Ooh, a deadly attack even. Unfortunately, there's no double attacks with magic. And yeah, we'll bring, um, Tao right up here. This is gonna put her very much in harm's way, but... Uh, the, uh, the damage is going to be immensely worth it, I think. And man, deadly attack again. Getting kind of lucky with those. This is going to put a lot of the zombies in, uh, one hit range with our, our main fighters. And she gets a level. She's almost, uh, almost level 10 here. Pretty good. That was actually a staggering HP gain. Rest of the level, not so good, but... Alright, can we finish this guy off? Yeah, I think we gotta go for it. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. Skeleton is down. Now, who gets to go next? Chris, she can, um... She's gonna hold the line with Tao a little bit here. And, uh, actually, oh man, I don't know. This could end with her death, but I'm just gonna have her attack this guy, actually. If I get the chance, I'll put Gong in front. Oh, it didn't pay off. It did not pay off. I immediately regret that decision. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna attack... I'm going to have Gong attack this guy. Actually, no. No, 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 no. I'm going to have Gong heal her because she can take another hit. Um, and she can't get flanked or anything. So, I don't think we're... I think this is probably the best move to keep her alive. And that guy's still going to just hang out, so... And then we can come over here, maybe... And we'll equip Arthur with the Lance and the Power Ring. And attack... That one's got 5 HP. This one's got 4 HP. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, 
come on, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, the double miss. Are you shitting me? Come on, man. Get it together. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, Max was there, so he's going to take the damage on this one. Can't let him take too much more damage, though. He's going to be in a little bit of trouble. And yeah, Chris will take that. She should be okay, unless we get a, an unlucky double attack here. So unfortunately, the low went down, and then Tao should live through one hit, I think. We've seen that before. Yeah. Okay. Everything's going to be fine. I think, you know, we're, we're in an acceptable position here. I really want Arthur to kill those guys, though, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe we should just drop, say, uh, a blaze here on this guy, and then we'll have Henri finish him off. I think that should be fine, because Henri needs to get some XP as well. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's have uh, Gong heal Chris here a little bit. I'm just hoping Arthur can actually finish these guys off. This may cost us, you know, a couple of lives here. You know, I hate to be too cavalier about it, but uh, ultimately, it's sort of got to be done. Um, I think I'll have Max finish this person off. Just uh, because we're getting, you know, to the point where we don't want to take too many more risks here. Ooh, and he gets level 9. One attack, two HP. That's, you know, it's, it's not good. All right, Chris is okay. Um... So now I think I come up here and I heal Max. And then Tao should be fine because I think Henri is going to get to kill that other zombie before he gets to kill her, which would be important. We'll also try to set up Arthur for the kill on the, uh, on the ghoul or, or ghast or whatever the guy is. Yeah, I think he's a ghoul back there. This would be good. Uh, Henri just got a level, so I don't think she's going to get anything out of this, really. This will, well, she'll get a lot of XP, but not a level. And that guy just doesn't even want to move. Perfectly content to just wail away on her for a while. Oh, but the double attack! You bitch! <laughs> Man! Arthur, alright, make this worth my while, my friend. Been, uh... Pulling a lot of strings to get you caught up here. At least, at least one shot this guy. Are you fucking with me? You bitch, you worthless bitch. Oh, man. All right, well, I guess um, I'm going to have Gong come over here and heal Tao. And she's going to be fine. Maybe I'll have Tao move up. Eh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Here, if I put Max right here, the zombie will probably attack. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Arthur? Or not, he'll probably... The zombie will probably attack him instead of Arthur, uh, which will be good, because that means he'll live. <laughs> and Max should be able to take even a double attack at this point, except he got poison a little bit there. That's okay. Don't need to worry too much about the poison. Please, please, Arthur, I beg you. I beg you! I beg you! Come on, man! What are you doing with your life? I actually wonder if this guy's even going to come and attack us if I put Tao here. If I just drop a blaze on him. And he's not, I don't, he's not even a boss monster. Actually, you know what we can do? What, can, can we put this guy to sleep? It costs 8 MP to cast that fucking spell. But the spell doesn't work. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh my goodness. Arthur, what am I going to do with you, man? It's okay. I mean, we're not in any danger of losing the battle at this point, I don't think, unless the ghoul, like, really goes to town on Max or something, but... Man, please. Arthur, get it together, my friend. If I move Henri up here, she may die, but I kind of, like... I kind of wonder if she'll, uh... If this guy will even move. Oh, uh, he's... He has some magic resistance, it seems. Yeah, the... I mentioned, like, the, uh... The other guy... The boss had, uh had some kind of fire resistance, but I don't think that's true. I think all bosses just have straight up magic resistance, right? Oh, okay. Now you get a deadly attack. Good. Yeah. Just in time. At least he's level six now. One attack, one speed, one HP. Oh, and he's starting to get some MP. No spells yet, but you know, the, the MP is nice. Yeah, this guy is content to just not even move. 
curious, if I equip him with a spear, how much damage is he actually going to do? I'm gonna expect, uh, not very much. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Still, Henri can get some XP out of this, and he can get some XP out of this. I mean, whoever kills him, I guess it doesn't really matter. Probably be better for it to be Arthur. Ooh, and she actually just leveled up. It's two levels, but that was a terrible level for her. And, uh, Ta Tao can actually do one more blaze. I guess I miscalculated. I guess it's 6 MP for sleep. But, you know, every little bit helps here. Alright, Max can come and hang out. And, uh, then I guess Gong... May as well get some XP himself. Alright. He's almost, he's gonna be level 10 in no time. Like one or two more kills maybe, and he gets to go again. Let's have him hang out, and we'll have Max hang out as well. Even though, yeah, he's got the uh, the poison going on, which is a little annoying, but not the end of the world. Let's try a freeze. I don't think this is gonna do, I don't think this is gonna kill him, but we'll see. Yeah, a deadly attack only did six damage. And we'll have her hang out, and he gets to go again, but he, I don't think this guy heals or anything. Yeah, he's only got three HP. Alright, well we know he can do two damage with a spear, so let's hope he can finish it up with a, uh, with a, with a lance. Please hit. Thank goodness. Alright, five points of damage. Good XP. Okay, I am Balboroy. I was turned to stone by Dark Saul when he took the bodies of the dead. Balboroy joins the Shining Force. So yeah, that uh, evil fellow before, that was Dark Saul. He is the primary antagonist of the game, I guess you could say. Alright, well I guess that'll do it. Uh, when we come back, we'll explore Shade Abbey a little bit more and then uh, we'll move on. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.